there now. Praise Him right now. Praise Him like you need Him. Praise Him like you love Him. Praise Him like you need Him. Praise Him like you can't live without Him. Praise Him like He's done something for you. Praise Him like He's doing something for you. Praise Him like He's going to do some more for you. Oh, yeah. I got to give it up. I got to give it up for Jesus. I feel the Holy Ghost right now. I said I feel the Holy Ghost right now. Yeah, I do. I feel the Holy Ghost right now. Woo. Y'all. Sometimes uh, when I'm in the spirit and studying, I just jot something down that I want to spew out on you. And so one thing I wrote down for the pandemic time. First thing, do not panic. God is still in control. Y'all hear me? Do not panic. Satan wants us to panic. Uh-uh. Do not panic. When you see how food has gone up from Corona. Gas is ooh, gas has gone up. Y'all hear me? Everything's increased and it really don't have to increase. In the Bible, it's called usury. They are practicing usury. Yeah. That means the scales are not balanced. Thank you. They're unbalanced. They're not balanced. They don't have to do it, but they're going to use Corona as an excuse to do it. So don't panic, okay? Now, now, now. Ooh. Do not fear. Are y'all hearing me? Whole lot of people dealing with fear. I didn't hear what I just said. I said, do not fear. Did I say, do not fear? Huh? Do not fear. I'm telling you, fear is one of the main weapons that the enemy is using. There's a whole lot of people fearing right now. There are some people right now who are fearful so much that they want to come out of the house. They're in the house. Mm. Be wise. Share the gospel. You hear me? I'm going to tell you something right now. Do me a favor. A whole lot of doctors and nurses out here, right? Turn your Bible to to Chronicles for me. Well, I ain't put a one or two on there. Let me see which one it is. I ain't put a, a one or two on there. I'm going to see real quick, though, because I got it written down. Hold on here. Hold on. Some tell me it's one, but I'm checking two real quick. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, let me hear you say doctors need God. Yes. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. They do, don't they? Yes. Huh? Yes. Oh, it's Second Chronicles. Okay. Go to the 16th chapter of Second Chronicles. Y'all not praying for the hospitals enough. You're not praying for the doctors and nurses enough. All the complaints you've heard from them. All the things they tell you they've seen. A lot of them are depressed, panic attacks, fearful, crying, mourning, hurting from all the stuff they see. Some of them have even quit their profession. Yes. Because of all the mess that Corona brought to the earth. Are you in Second Chronicles? Yes. Are you at the 16th chapter? Father, in the name of Jesus, we need you right now. Yes. Everything in this house today is under the supernatural known and the power of a supernatural God. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who sent his only begotten son, Jesus, to us. We have all power, because he had all power in his hand. And you're not going to fear. You're not going to be depressed anymore either. And you're not going to be uh, uh, confused anymore. You're not going to be a paranoid schizophrenic anymore. And you're not going to be sick all up in your body. Yes. All in pain and suffering. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Every pain I get. For instance, I'm back in my office. All I did was sit down. All of a sudden, the pain hit me right here. 
Well, y'all know what I did. Immediately. I'm like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. In the name of Jesus, I bind you right now. Come out in right now. Come out of my belly. Come out of my side. Got no business in there. I don't get no pain right there. And guess what? Within 10 seconds, it was gone. It hit me twice. It hit me, bam. Like someone, bam, it hit me again. And I wore it. He hasn't hit me since. When y'all gonna start doing that? Physician healed out. Work for me. Sometimes the pastor ain't gonna be around the wall for you. I like that. You gotta do it yourself. Come on, somebody. Who tied your shield for you now? Are your mom or your daddy or you? Mom and dad used to tie your shield up, didn't they? But they gone now. You gotta do it yourself. Well, same thing. You war. You fight. You hear me? Now look at this. I looked at this. Second Chronicles 16, 12. Some of y'all ain't never seen this before. And I wrote it down. And I wrote beside it, doctors need God. Ready? Second Chronicles 16, 12 says, And Asa, in the 39th year of his reign, was diseased in his feet. Mm. Diseased in his feet. Ooh. Hold up. He's somebody special. He rich. Famous. Got the high position in the land. Satan don't care about none of that. Diseased in his feet. And look how that thing waited 39 years to show up. He ain't had disease in his feet before that. Some of you can live pain free in certain areas, and once you hit a certain year, hit a certain age, also, where did it come from? What is this? What's this in my eye? What's this in my throat? What's this in my back? Mm hmm. Come on, you gotta talk to him. In his feet. In his, until his disease was. Ooh, look at that. Hold on. Was exceeding what? Great. Great. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That goes back to what I've been teaching you for years. You get a pain in your body. Anywhere in your body, you get a pain. I'll tell you something right now. Here's what Satan's going to do. He don't care how smart you are. He don't care about your resume. He don't care you the supervisor on the J-O-B. He don't care who your mama and daddy is or was. I wonder if I got some money in the bank. Yeah, he don't care what your bank, he don't care what the balance is. Once he come in, it's a test. He's testing to see what do you know spiritually? What do you know about the power of God? Because if you don't know anything, guess what's going to happen? We'll get a pain and we're looking for it to go away after a while. <laughs> Seen it. Seen it so many times. I got a pain in and you've had it for two or three weeks and you're still waiting for it to go away. Wrong. Wrong. I've already been to the doctor and they gave me a painkiller. Okay. <clears throat> but after you fill it with the pain pill, the pain is what? Still there. Still there. Oh, I took a little... Cortisone shot for that knee. <laughs> uh huh. Or for my hip. But the cortisone shot wore off. And I just got a text yesterday for an evangelist out in Virginia saying, Pastor, I'm getting ready to get a knee replacement on Thursday. I said, Lord, heal her knee that when she get there, they'll tell her that she don't need a knee replacement. In Jesus' name. Y'all hear me? So, so, so hold on. So his feet. If you let it go, it will get exceeding great. Guarantee. You don't let it get exceeding great. You fight when it's a little beginning. It's a little bitty pain. It's a little bit. I'm going to fight you like you're a big exceeding great already. 
That's right. I'm going to destroy you by the power of God. In the name of Jesus, I bind you to the cross. I bind you to the blood. I pick the blood. The blood of Jesus gets you. Get out of my field. Get out of my hand. Get out of my chest. Get out of my stomach. Get out of my side, my hip, and my back. Get out of my head. They have migraine headaches day in and day out. Waiting on the headaches to stop. No. I'm a war. Yeah. Two years ago, she came on an attack in her body. In her body? Yeah, couldn't walk. She just couldn't walk. Uh -uh. So she went to the hospital, and she said after her, she spent about a week in the hospital. Uh huh. They gave her some medicine, and she was able to walk again. But just recently, the same thing happened again. Mm. That's what you thought the but it came back. Came back. It, la it laid low yeah. for a season. Yeah. 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 You know the word we like to use? It's a time release devil. There are time release demons for every human being on earth. They'll lay dormant because they have a certain time to show up in your life from out of nowhere to raise their ugly head. It's going to be a certain age, or it's going to be when you're going through a certain situation. There's a certain season in your life. Whatever. And then it's going to show from out of nowhere. Trying to find a time to hit you that would be the worst time in your life. So here it is. Now the feet pain has gotten exceeding great. Do you see that? Yeah. Huh? But hold on. Hold on now. I'm in verse 12 now of 16. No, 2 Chronicles 16, 12. Second Chronicles 16, 12. It said he was diseased in his feet after 39 years of his reign until the disease was exceeding great. Yet in his disease, he sought not to the Lord. <laughs> Woo! It's a whole lot of sick people out here not seeking the Lord for healing. They're going to seek Dr. Kill there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 kill your pocket. Ask the lady with this blood. She'll tell you about that one. <laughs> she ain't had no more. So, 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 you know. Come on, y'all. He didn't seek the Lord. Oh, hold on. So, uh, someone with cancer who's not seeking the Lord. Someone with diabetes. Someone who, who they're telling you got to go now on what's that kidney thing named dialysis. Hold on. Going to the rehab center. Not going to the law for nothing. We can't do anything for you, but we're going to send you to the hospice. Yeah. To die. To die. Yeah. He's not seeking the Lord, but it's exceeding pain in his feet. Mm -mm -mm. How many people in the hospital right now on a ventilator? Haven't sought the Lord. Every person I see in the interview said they were lucky. Yeah. In the hospital for three months. Thought I was going to die, but I'm lucky. Nuh uh. There's no such thing as luck. So here it is. He says here. He sought not to the Lord, but to who? The physicians. To who? The physicians. Man. To the physicians. Only. See, listen to me, y'all. I love doctors. I love nurses. My oldest daughter is a nurse. During the heart of Corona, even though she lived in Atlanta, they shipped her off to uh, a, a New York. And she went like a soldier. She left New York. They sent her down to Texas. She went like a soldier. Mm. So I love them. They do what they do. We do what we do. But guess what? We got to pray for them. Yeah. Yes. You hear me? Are oh, you better pray for them. I tell you what. 
you go into the hospital and you're under serious attack. And here come doctor. Doctor, I was in a car crash. Doctor, I'm still in pain. Now he come on TV and said, Allah can help you. Buddha can help you. I'm calling on my Buddha. I'm going to call on my Hindu God. How about this? The doctor comes over to you. And he lives in Sodom and Gomorrah. He lives in both of them. <laughs> I can help you. Y'all better pray. How about this one? I'm glad you came to us. Because uh, there's no such thing as God. There is no God. Y'all hear me? This is real. Oh God, I wish the church would bring these things up. But they won't. But hold on. Let's go to verse 13. Woo. He sought not to the Lord, but to the physician. And Asa slept with his fathers and died. In the one and fourteenth year of his reign, they buried him in his own sepulchres, which he had made for himself in the city of David. Lay him in the bed which was filled with sweet odors, divers kinds of spices, prepared by the apothecaries. Art. They made a very great burning for him. All wrong, y'all. I declare long life over everybody in here. Thank you, Lord. I know premature death you. in this place. Thank you. I declare you're going to be wise yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I declare it right now. Now, now, in the name of Jesus, get ready because you're going to get some serious blessings. Get ready. Y'all, uh, get consistent in coming to the church, okay? Amen. Okay? Okay, stay in church. Stop faking on the Lord. I'm tired. I've got to sleep some more. I've got to sleep some more. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Get your butt up and get to the church house. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh, 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 uh. Y'all hear me? Uh-uh, that devil, uh-uh. Hold on here. Hold on here. And you remember the angel of the Lord I taught you? Yeah. I taught you on the angel of the Lord? Yeah. Huh? I want God to increase your faith today. Okay. I want your faith to increase for everything. Yes. Satan come yes. to weaken your faith. Yes. He'll give you a lot of trials and tribulations just to, yes, he does. to weaken you. To weaken you. Yes. Don't you ever let him weaken your faith. Right. Faith is important. Let me tell you something right now. Uh, turn to Psalm 103 for me. Come on, turn to Psalm 103 for me right now. That's the one. Turn Psalm 103. I'm going to help you with your faith today. Koran going to die by faith. Jesus Christ going to kill Koran. All of it in the earth is going to be gone. I thank him every day for killing Koran in my prayer. Lord, I thank you for, for, for using me. Guess what? I want God to use all of y'all to kill Koran. All of us. Kill Koran. In Jesus' name. Yup. Uh, excuse me. Sh sh sorry. Kill Quran. Y'all hear me? Evans Glenda. Kill Quran in Jesus' name. Just a jewel. Kill Quran. Uh, Mr. Kern. Kill Quran. Speak to it. No, before being touched. Speak to it when you wake up. I speak to it every day now. Corona in the name of Jesus, I declare you dead. Yes. Father, I thank you for killing Corona in the whole earth, not just here in America, the whole earth to be gone. Yes. I plead the blood against the demon of Corona yes. where you can't, can't uh, 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 hurt anybody else. You can't put your virus in them and kill them in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in all your cohorts yes. in Jesus' name. Ooh, a warrior is going to be a warrior. Yeah. No matter what. I ain't afraid of no demon. I ain't afraid of Corona. 
Recognize he is a devil from the pit of hell. Recognize. Come on here. Come on here. Come on here. Are y'all at Psalm 103? Huh? Hold on a second. Ready? I'll go to verse 2. No, 1. No, I don't want to leave out that blessing. Are you there? Bless the Lord. <laughs> oh my soul. And all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Lord God, we exalt your holy name. We can't praise you enough. Lift you up now in the midst of it. God, let me tell you real quick. Praise him when it's going good and praise him when it's going bad. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thine iniquity, uh oh, who healeth all thy disease. Stop right there. He's forgiven all our sins. We all have sin come short of the glory of He said, but I'm going to forgive your sins. And I'm going to heal you of all diseases. I'm going to heal you of all diseases. All pain. All malfunctions and dysfunctions. And another thing too. I'm going to break all the curses off you. I'm going to break every demonic curse that's come your way. Every curse that has been spoken over you or your family. I don't care if they spoke it over you 50 years ago. You better come on up in here. I don't care if they spoke it over your dad and your mama. And they're dead and gone. Still traveling. But in the name of Jesus, he said, I'm going to heal you all your diseases. Ooh, who redeemed the life from destruction. Oh my God, look at that. Uh, what are y'all afraid of? Are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. Maybe you're not reading your Bible. I don't know. Who redeemed that life from destruction? Who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercies? Thank you, Lord. Oh, have mercy. Mercy. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Tender mercies. Ooh, ooh. Pour out those tender mercies on us right now, Lord. Yeah. Oh, my God. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Yeah. The peace of God that surpasses all understanding. Yeah. Gladness of heart and tongue. I want it all. I want it all. I want all he want to give me. All that he has for me. I don't want nothing less than what God wants of me. I don't want nothing more than what God wants of me. I want everything that God gives me and everything he has for me. Because it's going to be the good and perfect gift that comes from above. No shadow turning. Y'all hear me? Every perfect good gift comes from, from where? Oh, I know you thought you had the perfect gift in Valentine's Day. Christmas. Your birthday. Uh-uh. Every good and perfect gift. From above. Hold on now. Hold on. You need verse 5 too. Who satisfied thy mouth with good things. Mm. Hold on. Hold on. In the name of Jesus, Lord, take all bad things out of our mouths right now. Take it out. All bad things now. I declare the decree that it's coming out your mouth right now. Come out. Come out. Uh, Chill, Jones, chill. Come out, come out, come out. Come out, come out, come out, come out. <laughs> come on, that's right, come out. Right now. Hold on. I didn't say a part-time come out. 
I'm sorry, I didn't say a part-time come outer. Because, because you'd be on your job with the right tongue and come home with the wrong tongue. Or in church with the right tongue, be out in the street with the wrong tongue. Come out, come out, come out. <laughs> right now. My God, my God, my God. Now, 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 now. I want my prayers to a part of it is I always pray for this. Lord, I thank you for rebuking disobedience yes. and rebellion. Yes, we I add another word, I think I told you before, and disrespect. And I hold on, hold on. You on it because right after I say that, I said, I said, Lord, especially among our own children. Well, I added something this morning among our own family. Y'all hear me? From among our own family. Y'all hear me? Well, family members can cuss you out. Yeah, they sure do. And they will. Yeah. Well, family members can cuss you out now. Yeah. Call the police on you. Oh, oh. Family members can call the police on you. Yeah. They can cuss you out. And they can go out there and lie on you. And call your name. Yeah. And call your name. <laughs> so, so, hold on now. So, look at the mouth now. Look at this. Psalm 1 or what? Three, right? Yeah. And now I'm in verse five. Who satisfied thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed, is renewed like the yeah. eagles. The Lord executed righteousness and judgment for all that are oh, oppressed. Right. That word right there. That word right there, oppressed. That word right there. You have to learn how to appreciate Acts 10 38. Because when he said that 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 Jesus Christ anointed Jesus. God anointed Jesus with the with power of the Holy Ghost, right? Who went about with the Holy Ghost and with power. With the Holy Ghost and with power. Who went about doing good. But hold on. Hold on. I like what he said. He'll know that our Oppressed of the devil. devil. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. stop right there. Healing all that are oppressed of the devil. Yeah. And here it is, right here. The word, the word again. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. When you are oppressed, you are under a heavy, heavy yeah. dose of negativity. Yeah. Yeah. You're under a heavy weight. That's right. You're under something that. That you can't handle yourself. Yeah. And it came straight from the devil. Yeah. He said those who are oppressed of them. But he said that Jesus healed them. Yeah. So oppression can't stay. Yeah. Depression can't stay. Yeah. Suicide thoughts can't stay. Yeah. Worry and fear can't stay. Yeah. Anxiety, panic attacks can't stay. Yeah. Paranoia can't stay. Yeah. Unforgiveness can't stay. Self pity can't stay. Low self esteem can't stay. Everything that's negative is under the spirit of oppression. And it comes to weigh us down. But, but look what it says here. It says right there. He said, Righteousness and judgment, all that are oppressed. In the last verse, seven. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. I'm sorry, verse 8 is too good to leave out. The Lord is what? Merciful. He's what? Merciful. And what else? And gracious. Anger. What? And gracious? Yeah. Slow to what? Anger. anger. Yeah. And plenty us in what? Plenty us in mercy. Hold on, y'all. Y'all don't mind if I take some of that extra mercy from him, do y'all? <laughs> I'm going to take some extra he said plenty of us. So if there's plenty of then I can take some more. <laughs> Come on here. I'm going to take some more of that plenty of mercy. Woo, yeah. I'm going to need, look, I need some for the whole week coming up. 
It's real. It's real. Now, now, now. Uh, I love um, Urquhart. Yeah. What's his first name? John. Uh, yeah, I love Apostle John Urquhart from out of Chicago, Illinois. Yeah. No, Urquhart ruling out demons. That's him. The one that wrote the book years and years and years ago, routing out demons. Him. Erkot. But hold up. Well, recently, recently, he's trying to do some new stuff. Because I haven't seen Erkot stuff in years. But, but he said, God got him going in a, a yeah, another direction some stuff. And it's all good. So, so I said, well, God, I need to share it with heaven's best. How about this? Healing and deliverance Woo, is a very important part of our salvation. Yes, yes, it is. What? Healing. Two central parts. Of our salvation experience is healing and deliverance. If that church not dealing with healing and, and deliverance, uh, what's the one that just died uh, a year ago, a year and a half ago? Uh, Gabriel Amoth. Gabriel Amoth from Italy. Gabriel Amoth, who taught the most fierce men of God throughout the world, taught them how to cast out demons. Gabriel Amor. Only let allow 300 to attend. More than one to 10. I was one of them. Boy, did I want to go real bad. Gabriel. Mm -hmm. And Gabriel said, if your church is not operating in the supernatural power of God, if your church is not dealing with healing and deliverance, if your church is not breaking curses off, and warn your church is a scandal. Yeah. It's in his book. He says it's a scandal. I agree with him. Plenty of them out here. Hold on now. It is God's good pleasure to heal you of all your diseases. It gives him pleasure to see us heal. I am the God of all flesh. That he knows our body. Yeah. That's what he went around doing. Healing. Healing and deliverance. Yeah. Look. Thanks for saying that because that's what it made me remember. Jesus Christ was either coming from healing someone or on his way to heal someone or was healing someone. Come on up in here. Come on up in here. In the Bible, come from healing, healing, all the way to heal. Get that attitude. I got that attitude right there. That's right. He wasn't up there talking about people. And he wasn't chill eating. He wasn't chill eating. He was healing and delivering. Look, now get this, y'all. He wants to set you free from the hand of the enemy. He wants to set you free from the hand of the enemy. Y'all, the enemy is Satan. That's the enemy. He's going to set us free from the hand of the enemy. Anybody doing any blood diseases? Lupus is still killing people. Anybody dealing with bowel, bowels? Constipation or, or diarrhea, vomiting. Anybody sleep that night and get that acid reflux that have killed people in the middle of the night? Anybody got symptoms of stroke? Heart palpitations, heart fit, heart attacks, headaches, back 
problem so bad you can't even get out of the bed sometimes yeah. from the pain. Yeah. He takes pleasure yeah. in healing us. Yeah. Anybody gonna believe him? Yeah. Yeah. Anybody gonna believe him? Yeah. Yeah. I am. One the way we activate these benefits that's in Psalm 103. Ooh, in our own life, it's through faith in God. Ooh, I said through faith in God. Through faith in who? Through faith in your mama, your daddy, your boyfriend, your paycheck. No, through faith in God. Can't pay. Come on here, can't pay that, that's for sure. Your paycheck can't afford it. Come on, y'all. Even oh, even you got a small mustard seed of faith. You hear me? A small mustard seed of faith. You can still move a mountain. Why? Because he said it, did he? He said, he said, he said that you can still move. A mountain. Y'all hear me? Huh? Of sickness and disease. You can move demonic oppression. But guess what? Uh oh. Hear ye, hear ye. But there is something called strong faith. I said, there is strong faith. Ooh. Strong faith. Strong faith. Strong faith is built by hearing and hearing the word of God. You ain't got time to be laying up in the bed to present because you're not hearing the word of God. Because you'll get your butt up. That's one thing I've seen with people who are depressed or going through mental stuff, emotional. They stop. They stop. They stop reading the Bible. They stop coming to church. They ain't hearing no word from God at all. Faith come by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. They do it all the time. Have you read your back? No. You go to No. No. And that's the devil knows that he have you right where he wants you. you yeah. There's no coverage. Come on, y'all. There's no coverage. But hold on. No coverage. Ooh. But I know a man named Jesus. Ooh. I got big faith in a big God. And I know that in Psalm 107 20, the Bible said, if you need it, he sent his word and healed them. Are you in a battle and delivered them to try to kill you from their destruction? He sent his word. So right where you sit, his word is already there. When you get in your car, the word is there. At the mall, at the grocery store, he sent his word. But you got to believe it. You got to have faith and believe it. You hear me? Huh? I know that. I just said, Miss Norn, Miss Norn, know I love saying that. Miss Norn, know I love saying that. Satan would love to kill me. He would. Oh, he want to kill me so bad. He don't know what to do. See, Corona my way still couldn't kill me. Matter of fact, I made a park out of him because I was on a four day fast. I was on fourteen days when it hit me, and I was on with no food. Who can do that? Not many. Yeah, not many. He want to kill me so bad. He got a picture of me in hell. <laughs> and not saying dead or alive. He's saying dead only. <laughs> but he can't kill me. <laughs> check on your yeah, check on the picture. But he can't kill me. Because I know too much. Now what do I know? I know my healer. I know my deliverer. I know where my power, I know where my strength comes from. I know where everything I need comes from. I know that the battle ain't mine, it's the Lord. I know that he came to give me life and to give it to me more abundantly. And I know, I know that.
that he told me. I sent my son to die on that. Shed his blood for me to live. He died for me to be disease free. He died for me to be depression free. He died for me not to be poor. We have access to the healing and the deliverance power of God. We got access. And it don't cost you a thing. But to be ooh, he is available to live right. To turn your back on the world. All that is going to cost you is to stop cussing. Stop going to the palm reader. Stop going to the casino. Thank you. <laughs> it don't cost you much. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, somebody, but you gain. You. you got access to it. Thank you. Every time we open His Word up, yeah. this access. Hold on. Hold on. Is there anyone in here who's unable to get access to this? Is there anyone in here who can't open a Bible? That way you got free access to his healing and his deliverance through his word. It's right here, y'all. It's right here in his word. Everything you open his word up. His word is alive. Mm -hmm. It's active. Mm -hmm. um, and guess what else it shows me? It shows me that he has been faithful from generation to generation to generation to generation from generation to generation. So what he did for them, I said what he did for them. No respect to a person, he'll do it for you and for me. He did it for them. Read your Bible, he did it for them. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Come on here. Do for our children, our children's children. I do believe this. God wants to see everybody free and disease free and walking healed, walking whole. He don't want us in no wheelchairs and lifting and stuff. He don't want to be laying up in the hospital for six months. Don't know who I am. Uh -uh. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. He wants us. Hold on. Here's something new. Church, church, church. Remember, I gave y'all about calling on the angel of the Lord. Remember the other Sunday, didn't I? That's his name. The angel of the Lord. And I showed you how he was sent to help, didn't I? Always the angel of the Lord. Did I show it to you? Yeah. Well, hold on. Then I also showed y'all the new healing scripture that we want to use. Yeah. From Acts 9, 34. 9, 34. Yeah. Jesus Christ, make it the whole. Arise. I got something else for you today. Woo. Hold on. Now. Hold on. Just give me about 10 minutes. I'm done. Uh, I got a new one for you. I got a new one for you. Miss Long, I got a new one for you. I got it. Ready? And we all know the word. But I'm going to share a new way to use it. Because I've been using it a different way for years until I got this. Here it is. Ooh. I say he want. I said God wants to see us free. Ready? Here's the word, but I'm going to use it different. And once I got that revelation of this word, I can see the difference in it. I use the word in my prayers every day for Israel. Every day. Amen. But here it is. 
God wants us walk. Hold on. He wants us walking. Hold on now. He wants us walking. He wants us free. And want us ready, Miss Lord. Are y'all ready to have his best? Yes. Healing and deliverance church. Yes. He wants us walking in the shalom. Amen. Right. Hold on. Hold on. You better get the revelation that, that I got. I've been praying this, Lord Shalom in Israel. We know it means peace. But hold on, stop right there. But until I saw what Eckhart said, he said he wants us walking in the shalom. Ooh. He wants us free and walking in the shalom. Yeah. So guess what I did? I got up in my house. I said, my God, I'm walking in the shalom. Yeah. When you go outside, y'all walk in the shalom. You hear me? Oh, oh, when you go in that new job tomorrow? Yeah. When you go in there, go in there in the shalom. The shalom means to me that it's a spirit from God of That's peace right. and tranquility. It's a spirit from God that keeps us a hedge of protection around us from every demon that's not peaceful. From every devil that means us harm. When you're walking in the shalom, that means that you got joy. You got happiness. You got gladness. When you're walking in the shalom, guess what? Uh, you are delivered from human beings. You don't care about their opinion of you. You don't care how they talk about you, what they say about you. So you're in the shalom. Mm. Only God has the shalom. To give out. Amen. My God, my God. So, Miss Lord, from now on, we walking in the what? Shalom. In the shalom. Amen. I got something to tell you. Uh, are there new pretty Lexus you got out there? That's Carolina blue? Here's what I want you to do. I want you to drive it in the what? Come on, say it. Come on, now drive the new guy in the what? In the shalom. You're driving in the shalom. Are we all going to sleep tonight? Yes. Can you sleep in something special for me tonight? Yes. What y'all going to sleep in tonight? Yes. Woo! I'm going to sleep in the shalom. My God, my God. My God, my God. Hold on. What else is in the shalom? Ready? We know peace is in it, right? Peace is in it. Prosperity. And every blessing of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hear what I said? Peace, prosperity, and every blessing of God is in the shalom. Yeah, yeah. It's what Jesus died for. Yeah. Ooh. If we are tormented by the enemy, we should be able to set up an effective offense and defense against him. Y'all hear me? Now, I want to close out with some scriptures. That's going to bless you. I'm going to speak this. Say living by faith. I want y'all living by faith. You hear me? Hear me? Can y'all live by faith? Okay. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. I want y'all living by faith. I'm going to tell you something right now. I want y'all living by faith. Y'all hear me? Huh? <laughs> you know what? Say the spirit realm. This is a sharp, double-edged, fiery sword. In the spirit realm. I'm going to ask God to give every one of y'all a fiery, double-edged, sharp sword. And guess what? For some of you who don't know this, oh, he can give it to you real easy because some of y'all ain't got the revelation in red that that kind of sword was coming out of Jesus' mouth. Go read it. I'm going to tell you again. Sharp, double-edged, Fiery swords were coming out of Jesus' mouth. Huh. It's in Revelation. When he come back, uh, uh, you see the swords coming out of mouth. Guess what? And as soon as I see one of them, jump up. 
I got mine. I got mine. Well, hold up now. Say faith. I want you, uh, when you leave here today, I want you to build a new level of faith for the healing and deliverance. And for Corona to die. And for you to kill Corona. And for Corona, listen to me. Corona, I'm going to tell you this right now, the lion, dolphin, hell. If you've never had Corona, you never will in Jesus' name. If you've already had it, you never will again in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Say Corona. Corona. In the name of Jesus. Die. Die. Die in the whole earth. The whole earth. Now, now we plead his blood, plead his blood. That, he died. that he died, sharing for us. Sharing for us. Mm. Hold on. Now, and you don't have to turn to it. I don't want you to keep turning. But I'm going to speak this over you right now. Because I want you to get more faith. Say, so he's talking to me. In Deuteronomy 9.23, the Bible says, Likewise, when the Lord sent you from Kadesh Barnea, saying, Go up and possess the land which I have given you, then you, hold on, hold on, then you rebel. Against the commandment of the Lord your God, and you did not believe him or listen to his voice. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. He told you he was going to heal you. He told you to go to church consistently. He told you to worship him more. He told you to get in your Bible, read your Bible more, but you didn't listen to him. He told you to stop cussing. He told you to stop looking at pornography. He told you to stop listening to cussing music. He told you to stay out of the world. He told you to stay away from uh, a, a Merlin Winds or whatever you call it. <laughs> what do you call it? Something winds. What that one we passed by the other day? Going to the fishing crab. Yeah, the Merlin Live. What? Whatever. Whatever. All of them. Stay out of the casino. They stop scratching off at the 7-Eleven. Yeah. Yeah. At, the at the liquor store. Stop scratching off. <laughs> they didn't listen. He said, you're going to possess the land. What are you doing? Are you still out there trying to hang out with your homies? Come on, y'all. I bind up all same sex attractions out of your life now in Jesus' name. Your whole family. I bind up fornicating demons now. I bind up abortion spirits now in Jesus' name. I rebuke Planned Parenthood's plan from hell. In the name of Jesus. I speak life over these babies. I speak life in the neighborhood. I speak life my God, in the projects. Yes. I speak life in every hospital. Yes. I declare and decree that every criminal who comes out of prison will be saved. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. I declare all doctors will get saved. All nurses will get saved. Yes. All politicians will get saved. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Ooh. Ooh. First Sam, you said this. And I will raise up for myself a faithful priest. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold up. I'm about to cry. Finally. I'm about to cry. Miss Law, I'm about to cry. Oh my God. That's I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop there. I'm about to cry. God's working right now. Let me finish the scripture. Ooh. And the tears, I'm talking about tears of joy. Yes. Tears of thank you, Jesus type of tears. Yes. Yes. To turn, but Ron, y'all hear me? Thank you, Jesus type of tears. Yes. Mm. Hold on, hold on. Hold on now. He said in 1 Samuel, and he said it in 235, he said, and I will raise up for myself a faithful priest. What is in my heart and my soul, he will do it. 
I'm about to kick this door in. Preachers, y'all hear this? Preachers, y'all hear this? Y'all hear it? He said, whatever I tell y'all to do, you do it. What's in his heart? What's in his mind? Tell him, come on in and get the little bit that's left. Tell him. I know she was next door. Tell him, come on in and get it. There ain't no mistake she out there at, that, at our front door. Listen to me, y'all. Listen to me. He said, right here. He said, he said, raising myself a faithful priest, what is in my heart and in my soul, he will do it. And I will build him a sure house. Ooh. Ooh, I'm going to build him a sure house. Do y'all hear this? Do y'all hear that? I'm going to build him a sure house. A sure house. And it will walk. And, oh, and it will walk before my anointing forever. Meaning the priest will walk before my anointing forever. Y'all. Y'all. The greatest thing that can happen to you in your life is answer the call in your life from God to be a preacher. Amen. Amen. It's the most important call to mankind and womankind. To be called to be a preacher. Are you kidding me? That's long. That's long. Out there in the world, man. You could have touched who could have told me while I was drunk out at the club, high on reefer, that I was gonna be a preacher. Me? Who me? Yes, yeah, son. God told me to tell you, you're gonna be one of them demon caster outers. You gonna be one of them lay hands on the sick, they're gonna get healed. And you're gonna be one of those people house and get devils out of their homes. That's terrorizing the families. And you're gonna preach the power, the super power of God. Uh, you got the wrong one. I'm trying to party, man. I'm trying to get my freak on. I'm trying to, hold on, what's that song? Uh, 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 what's that song they sing? Because my onions tell it off, I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to do my thing. I ain't got time to preach. It's your thing. Do what you want to do. That's it. It's your thing. Do what you want to do. I was all, a lot of y'all was out there trying to do your thing. Yeah. Whatever your thing was. Whatever your thing was. I can't tell you who to sock it to. Yeah, I can't tell you who to sock it to. Because you were socking it to a whole lot of folk. Lecrae, Lecrae in his gospel rap, know what he said? He said, he said, you want a new you. You want God to make a new you out of you. He said, yeah, you're not there doing everything you want to do. Sleeping with all the people. No, you want a new you because the last five people you slept with just didn't do it. How about the last 50? They didn't do it. That Y'all, y'all, by faith, he's looking for Whew. He said that he'll heal you. He'll heal you of depression. He'll heal you of suicide thoughts. He'll take away fear. Take away loneliness. Take away your paranoia, schizophrenia, devil. And guess what? Don't be like some people got to hit rock bottom before they realize it. People got to hit rock bottom. Some of hit rock bottom and still don't know who to call on. Y'all hear me? I know. In the name of Jesus. But I'm so glad that we serve a supernatural God with supernatural power who works in supernatural signs and wonders in a natural world. Listen. Um, Pastor Minister, um, come on. Yeah. What is it she said? The verb form of peace. Shalom. Yeah, shalom. Freedom from what? Old English Hebrew verb form of shalom translates to freedom from the tyranny. cruel tyranny mm -hmm. of the evil. Yeah. Oh. Free. Freedom. 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 From the evil. From the tyranny of, of all evil. That's what I said. It's a protection. Shalom. We're walking in the shalom. Sleeping in shalom. When I go to shop a food warehouse around the corner, I'm going in the 
Shalom. Shalom. Get away from me, say. Let me tell you something right now. There's too many people right now who don't have any peace. Amen. God got too many children right now who are depressed, who in panic attacks, anxiety, fear, thinking about killing themselves, thinking about their loser. The devil is a liar. He don't want you to realize who you really are. But if you realize who you really are, you'll be destroying all of his crap he sent me. And in the name of Jesus, I declare that all of you in here will wake up to who you really are. You'll wake up to know that you are more than a conqueror. You'll wake up knowing that you are a soldier of the Most High God. You were born in this earth to serve God. You were born in this earth to worship God. You are a royalty. You are a peculiar people. And Satan knows your name, but God knows our name too. All power is in his hands. All power is in his hands. Preachers, I'm going to tell you something right now. And you better get this. We know what Matthew 10 1 say, don't we? Yeah. And when he had called unto him his 12 disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. But hold up. Oh. As I was reading that oh. today, I mean the other day, oh. in Matthew 10, another scripture stood out. Mm. 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 Another one st stood out. Preachers in here, even the ones who don't have a title yet, he said, I'm going to command you to do something. Preachers, y'all better get this. Because some of y'all are missing in action. Some are inconsistent as I don't know what. Some are missing too many days out of a... Oh, God. She said, as you go, preach that the kingdom of God is at hand. Anybody here got a hand? Hold your hand out right now. Hold your hand out right now. God told me to tell you something. As you hold your hand out, you're holding out for your own life first. You let the devil know that every time he comes near you, the kingdom of God is at hand. So back off, sucker. <laughs> back off, sucker. Back off with your crap. Kingdom of God is at hand. Woo. Feel that in your hand right now. Feel that glory in your hand. Feel that fire in your hand. Feel that Holy Ghost in your hand right now. Hold on. And when he comes to you to try to put something in your body, try to plant something in your brain, in your mind, try to put something in your lungs, in your kidneys, in your bowels, in your bones, in your blood, uh-uh, the kingdom of God is at hand. Hold on. Hold on. Ready? Repeat after me. Heal the sick. <laughs> what? Heal the sick. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Repeat after me. Uh, keep your hand out. Sister Taylor, put your hand out now. Heal the sick. Cleanse the lepers. Pray. Put your hand out, man. Put your hand out. Cleanse the lepers. For those of you who don't know, leprosy is just as strong now as it ever was. Many people have all types of skin conditions. Yeah. Every skin condition that's on someone's skin is the spirit of leprosy. Yeah. Psoriasis. Yeah. Bowls. Yeah. Tumors. Tumors. Yeah. Those things they used to call risings. Yeah. Moles. Moles. Yeah. Heal the sick. Cleanse the lepers. Ready? Ready? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Some of y'all ready? Some of y'all better be ready to run out the door after this one. Just let, 
Pastor, I don't know about that one. Where is in the Bible? Raise the dead. 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 Hallelujah. I said raise the dead. Hold on, one more. Yeah. Oh, leprosy on the inside. He said, I used to talk about the leprosy on the inside. And uh, 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 worse than the one on the outside. Wow. Eating yeah. away on the inside. Yeah. All types of crap. Yeah. All types of parasites. Yeah. Heal the sick. Cleanse the lepers. Raise the dead. Ready? Yeah. And cast out yeah. devils. Hold on, you ain't finished. In the name of Jesus. I cast out every devil in my life. I cast out every devil coming against my family. I cast out every devil that's come against my finances. My children. My children's children. My job. My ministry. My mind. My body. My soul. And my spirit. Glory. Woo, glory. 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 Hold on, one more. Mm. Mm. So by his right hand, right now. Here's what I want you to do. Turn it over. Turn your hand. Okay, turn your hand over. Ready? You got it? He said, again, he's plenteous in mercy. Take all the mercy right now. Take all the mercy from him. Ooh, take that mercy from him. Ooh, look at all that mercy coming to you. Mercy when you didn't deserve it. Mercy when you didn't do nothing to get it. When you didn't afford it. But because he's Jesus. Because he loves us. He said, I'm full of tender mercy. Take all the mercies that he's given us today. Now give him praise. I'm done. Now give him praise. Now give him praise. Now give him glory. I said give him praise. I said give him honor. I said give him all the glory. Let him know how much you heal, how much you deliver, how much you free, how your faith has grown. Let God know that he is God, the one and only true God. No other God but him. No other God but him. Y'all hear me up in here? Over the blind eye. Make the lame walk. Heal the dumb and the deaf. My God, my God, my God, my God. Come on, just take it in, man. You get ready to go. Just take it in. Just take it in. Come on, take it all into your body. My body, soul, spirit. Take it all. My God, we received a lot today. In healing and deliverance and faith and everything. And you're walking in the shalom. Take it all. You're in the shalom right now. Boy, your son missed a lot today. Oh, you told him? Yeah, but he missed a lot today. Cecil told you he was coming. He missed a lot today. Uh, he just, he me. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, yeah. The devil sent a job his way. Because he said he was headed his way to get this. Oh, there's, uh oh, hold on. Remember I told y'all I was getting ready to cry? He said that he's looking for for consistent priests. He's looking for them who follow his word, do what was in God's heart. Y'all hear me? Well, I got something to tell y'all. There's a new preacher today. The door is opening for a new preacher today in this church today. Amen. I'm going to tell you something right now. I don't pick no preacher in this church. Never have. This is a boot camp for preachers. It's a boot camp for people to learn the spiritual things of God. Yeah. A lot of things we deal with, churches 200 years old, never mention it. Amen. Kinder and gentler churches I got no patience for because they don't want to deal with certain things. We got to deal with real life because Satan ain't playing with people. If y'all if y'all knew the phone calls and texts and, and the testimony that I get from people who their own pastor didn't believe in. Who their own family didn't believe it. But we did. And we did something about it. 
That's what Satan wants. He wants you to tell somebody this going on with you. You got voices talking to you. You got something trying to rape you in your bed and it's not a real man. You must be high. You must be drunk. Get out of my face. You must be crazy. I got a therapist for you. No, you don't. Bring it up in here. Don't we always tell them when they come up in here and they tell us? Yeah. That's right. They come up in here and we tell them, we say, I believe you. I'm glad you brought that thing up in here. But a lot of them want a McDonald's drive through Are they going to come in one time and get warfare and then you see them in the morning and wonder why it's worse and why it's not going anywhere? No. Let me tell you something about it. It's a progressive thing. Everybody want an instant healing, instant delivery. But most of them progressively. But you got to continue to get it. Another thing you got to get is one thing to be healed, and one thing to be delivered. But it's a whole other thing to keep it. And you got to learn how to keep it. Because you're going to come back and try your butt. But you done left out before you got all the spiritual training. Then you can turn into a punk again. Thank you. Last is worse than the first. Uh uh. No way. No way. We want all y'all. Lean, mean, fighting machines. I want to take the sword and stick it right in the chest, right into the head of Satan's demons. Everyone he sent get the same results. In Jesus' name. War is real. Now, as you get ready to leave here today, Thursday nights. Thursday nights. Oh my God. No, I'm talking Thursday first. Stand up, Evangelist Pamela James, because you just preached Thursday night. She preached Thursday night. Mm-hmm. Proud of you. Mm-hmm. Tore it up. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, hold on. Mm-hmm. I ain't never seen nobody get ready to preach and then give me a car before they preach. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? And they give me a car, hand me a car, and they go into the pulpit to preach. <laughs> I'm like, awesome. Mm-hmm. Go on ready to, to, to preach. Three so far. Evangelist Raquel Dove was the first Thursday. Yeah. Tore it up. Evangelist Natalie Bell was the second one. Thursday. This Thursday, stand up. Elder Odessa Hurst, this Thursday. Yeah. This Thursday. Thank you. This Thursday. And she had that ready. Pastor Angelo O. Jones. And First Lady Minister Sandra A. Jones, praise the Lord to the heart. Thank you for your spiritual guidance and leadership. Thank you for your prayers and intercession for our church families and the families of God. Thank you for serving us fresh bread from heaven to nourish our souls. Thank you for choosing to follow God's calling. May God continue to bless and double bless your family. And you in a mighty way every day. Eternally, Evangelist Pamela M. James and family. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all, my birthday was February the 5th. How come every son I walk in here still getting birthday presents? Hey, Ben Rachel Dove, hand me a birthday present today. Thursday night, Evangelist D handed me a birthday present. I love it. <laughs> and me this bir- Oh, hold on. Oh, she handed me a birthday present. She said, you're the kind of man more men should be like. Okay. To work. I bind up that Sunday working right now in Jesus' name. Lose her. Let her go. Let that evangelist go on Sunday. And we bless your communion in Jesus' name. You're the kind of man more men should be like. Good to your family and friends, generous and thoughtful, true to your word. That's what makes celebrating you so easy. 
That's why this wishes you all the happiness you deserve, which is pretty much all the happiness in the world. Yours truly in Christ, the best is Raquel Dove. Thank you now. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love it. Now, y'all. You say bye. No, we're going to say bye right now. <laughs> but before I say bye, Glory. I want to thank I brought Kevin for the paper towels and the, uh, and the Lysol. Amen. The twins for the paper towel and Lysol. Amen. Thank y'all. And, and, and candy. And candy. Over and candy for my family. Thank you over there and for the Lysol. Um, you. As we get ready to go, social media, Thursday night, the associate ministers are really blessing this. Y'all need to be here on Thursday night. It is awesome. Yeah. I'm here to preach it. 7 p.m. every Thursday night. Then, I don't know if y'all seen his flyer he got on social media now. I, I saw it. I shared that bad boy. He got him a new flyer. Friday night. Mr. Yeah. Lord Henderson blessing this every Friday night. Thursday night you got a different social ministry and Friday night you got Miss Lord and Sunday morning you got me. Yeah. Okay, y'all? PayPal is right there. Face. What is it? Cash app is right there. Bye. Bye, y'all. <laughs>